Deputy Director General of the Department of Basic Education nationally at Udada Utemba Kojana. Very good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Ayanda. Thank you very much. We continue to uh, have a special focus on issues of sanitation and infrastructure development, especially in schools. So we're in Limpopo today, but let's take a holistic view now, broadly. Uh, what can you tell us about the strides that have been made by the department in making sure that all schools have a conducive environment to learning? No, thank you very much. Um, I must first start by saying that the budget that has been allocated to ensure that um, our, t our teachers and learners are in a conducive environment for teaching and learning to take place. The budget has increased over a period of time from 359 million to 11.9 billion of, re of rents. And this is done in three folds. Firstly, that in, the, in ev every province has, has been allocated a grant, which is called Education Infrastructure Grant. Secondly, nationally driving a program called ACIT, which is Accelerated uh, School Infrastructure delivery um, initiative with the view of assisting provinces to ensure that we eradicate uh, the, these infrastructure that are not conducive and secondly to look at sanitation, electrification as well as water supply in our schools. Let's talk figures now. This school, one of those who have been successful in making sure that they have new classrooms, they have new ablution facilities, but how many others are still lagging behind? Let's talk figures now. Well, the challenge is quite huge, as, as you might know, but there's a lot of progress that we are making. For instance, in Limpopo, we're talking about 751 schools that we are busy working, working on. This school is part and parcel of uh, working with Invula Trust that they're completing close to 77 of those schools, dealing with issues around uh, sanitation and water. So, so others, 380 of those schools in Limpopo particularly, are in progress in terms of the delivery. In terms of other initiatives, 50 of those schools have already uh, achieved completion through our, our working with, with IDT. So there's a lot of investment that we are doing in relation to this matter in Limpopo. Now, the, the, the facilities are one thing. Of course, what happens inside the classroom is also very important. So I'm straying slightly from the topic and asking you to perhaps address some rumors around of a possible teacher strike. Uh, I'm not sure if you can uh, be at liberty to divulge anything about that. Not really. These are matters that we are managing at, at a national level to avert the strike. Well, of course, but this is not a matter that you can talk over uh, the television or over it. I was just taking my chances. So perhaps before we go, you can speak to us about the norms and standard. Uh, they were requested a long time ago. We ha do know that the minister has uh, agreed to it. Uh, some uh, points have been put down. Uh, where are we in the process right now? Remember that minister, on the, regard to the norms of standard for infrastructure, they were gazetted, as you know. And uh, this, is the, this is part and parcel, if you recall, if you talk about the infrastructure in particular, this is part and parcel of creating that aspect of ensuring that we meet all the norms and the standards with regard to the issues around infrastructure. So we're in making good progress in that regard. And when it comes to this school, I must say, job well done. The learners are happy, the teachers are happy. We can see some of the mamas and community members also celebrating. This, is, this has been a true hard work. And uh, I must also commend the, the, the provincial officials as well as the Invula Trust for the standing job that they have done. In, in, in completing this uh, project on time. And I mean, the learners in this particular school have made great strides as well. We spoke to some of the, uh, the, the pupils in grade 11 a little bit earlier, and they say that they persisted throughout the times when they had poor infrastructure. So with these new facilities, we can only expect much more. That, that, that is certainly true. I, I, and I think that we heard it from the learners themselves. I hope you'll also get the same from the teachers, because they're now motivated. And let's hope that with the new development of infrastructure, we'll see a much higher metric pass rate. I know uh, we've uh, registered the most successful since 1994 nationally and also in this province. They've been the most successful over 70 percent, I think it was, uh, in 2013. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of initiatives that uh, we, 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 we have in the department to improve learner, learner, learner performance. And I, I think through those initiatives, you can, you can see that those initiatives have actually worked. That is why progressively from 2009, we've moved from, from over 60% up until 78.2%, uh, which is a huge achievement, but more needs to be done. 
I couldn't agree with you more. Let's leave it there. More after the break. Right now, we hand you back to the Joe Brooks studio.